हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर तन्मय विश्वास आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय चैनल केमिस्ट्री द मिस्ट्री ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स टुडेस टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज अबाउट नॉर्बोरिन ऑक्सीडेशन बाय केएमएनओ4 सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड हीट आई रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज पॉज द वीडियो एंड राइट योर आंसर इन द कमेंट बॉक्स व्हाटएवर आंसर यू गेट बाय योर एफर्ट नाउ आफ्टर सम टाइम आई शैल गिव यू द आंसर बट रिमेंबर सेल्फ इवैल्यूएशन इज एसेंशियल फॉर द इंप्रूवमेंट दैट्स व्हाई यू शुड ट्राई एंड राइट योर आंसर इन द कमेंट बॉक्स नाउ लेट्स कम टू द डिस्कशन this reaction if you look at the condition this is nothing but alkene oxidation now student if you look at the or read the problem carefully kmno4 is a strong oxidizing agent where the oxidation will happen the electron rich center and which part of the molecule is most or maximum electron rich obviously this carbon carbon pi bond or double bond because there is a pi electron cloud and the electron cloud is not in between the nucleus above and below the nucleus so that's why it will undergo oxidation so at the beginning stage option b gone now question what op other option possible now in this case student if you look at very closely that kmno4 oxidation sodium hydroxide and heat it is not a diluted kmno4 it is a concentrated kmno4 a relatively drastic condition given so it will not stop at diol stage so this is not the product means further oxidation from this diol will happen and ultimately it produces dry carboxylic acid so this part will break and it will pro produce one carboxylic acid here and one carboxylic acid here this so from this thing you can easily say that the two carboxylic acid are in cis fashion or same side okay so what is the answer answer is this one c so this is the most easiest explanation for this problem so in this way you can end up the right answer but i believe you should know something else for that purpose i am giving you the mechanism so this is the first part of mechanism for the diol formation how this reaction happens so in the first step what happens this produces so in the first step it produces this ester means reaction of this manganese with this double bond this this and this it produces this ester and this ester undergo hydrolysis and it produces the corresponding di alcohol okay so actually it produces the corresponding di alcohol and this di alcohol further oxidizes means what do i am saying this di alcohol means this this oh this oh option a so this it got further oxidizes similarly to corresponding di aldehyde so this part i guess you have understood similarly now in the next step what happens this next step it re this aldehyde means i am showing the half part student this part okay this undergo further oxid means is undergo this gem diol so this is gem diol but remember the equilibrium prefers to remain in the ketone site i have already discussed a dedicated lecture on this topic so in the next step what is expected this e this gem diol react with kmno4 how this lone pair of oxygen atom attacks the manganese center and it opens up it's a carbonyl type carbonyl addition chemistry you may consider so it will produce this and in the next stage what happens this o minus abstract this hydrogen the lone pair comes here and this goes here so in this way manganese got reduced and this alcohol got means see this part this part got oxidized and ultimately it produces this carboxylic acid because this part became keto and whatever hydroxyl is left here it goes there so this so in this way it produces carboxylic acid and since it's a ring compound so whatever is done using this way it will produce this is one carboxylic acid and same side two carboxylic acid from here to here if you check the rim rupture point of view fine so this is equivalent to this same side two carboxylic acid so this is the overall mechanism for the process so as i told the answer is option c and why not the others i have told now if you got this thing in your exam hall less than 30 second how could you got the right answer first of all you need to understand what is the reaction condition 
KMnO4 sodium hydroxide heat drastic condition so reaction will not stop in diol stage so this gone and reaction will happen on the alkene so this gone what are left these two and see this is a ring compound so this part will be carboxylic acid this part will be carboxylic acid two carboxylic acid and same direction so option c so less than 30 seconds you can come up to the right answer now in this context please student remember that ring compounds or small rings are always cis or sin in nature for trans or anti-type ring system there is severe angle strain and that could not be handled by small rings five six and that could be happened by larger ring like cyclooctene it could be cis it could be trans but remember trans is relatively more stable sorry more energy containing so relatively less stable so this information please keep it in mind so it may come your exam so in conclusion what you have learned today KMnO4 is a very strong oxidizing agent due to its oxidation state that is plus 7 oxidation state of the central manganese atom under drastic condition alkene is oxidized to corresponding carboxylic acid by this KMnO4 reagent. Now oxidation of ring compounds are generally results in cis product and for small ring compound obviously it will end up in the cis product. And another important information student alcohol to aldehyde oxidation is actually two electron oxidation or aldehyde to carboxylic acid oxidation is associated with another two electron. So this is the overall discussion. I believe this video may be useful. Please write your opinion in the comment box and if possible, please visit my another channel climate and chemistry where I upload global warming and climate change related videos. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye bye.